In this video, I'm going to explain the different revision options from within the 3D Experience platform and how to adjust the settings to fit your current or desired process. Revisions of data in the 3D Experience platform allows for easy traceability and documentation of changes made to a design throughout the engineering processes. With the ability to revise many different types of data, you can be sure everything stored in your collaborative space is retained, archived, and accessible. To start, let's first look at the different options for revisioning. To keep things simple, I'm only going to discuss revisions with SOLIDWORKS data and external documents like a PDF or Microsoft Office files. For these types of files, you have the option to use primary or primary and secondary revisions. Primary alone would be the single digit or letter, depending on your preferences, it will go up to the next increment every time you save a new revision. Primary and secondary give you the flexibility to make smaller revisions within the larger ones. The primary revisions are updated when a part is revised from a release state, while the secondary will update when a new revision is created while the files are still in the in-work or frozen state. To configure your revision settings, you must be an administrator in your 3DX platform tenant. As the admin, you will navigate to your dashboard list and select the platform management dashboard. In the upper tabs, Scan to find and select the Content tab. Once there, scroll down to the Collaborative Spaces Configuration Center widget, which should be the third option from the top. Make this widget full screen to give yourself more space to work with. In the left column, scroll down to find Lifecycle and Collaboration. In this menu, you will see the options at the top for both Revision Format and Revision Format for Document. Make sure these are set to primary or primary and secondary, depending on how you would like your revisioning systems to work. Revision format for CAD data has the option for primary secondary with 3D experience content with SOLIDWORKS Master, but this is only used on a case-by-case -case basis. Most users should select primary and secondary unless otherwise specified. Back over in the left column, scroll to the top of the menu to find revision naming rules. Here, we will set the way we want the primary revisions to look. The main two naming rules to change will be document release and physical product. You will have the options of numerical starting with zero, numerical starting with one, alphabetical, and alphabetical starting with dash, where I, O, Q, S, X, and Z are skipped. The secondary revision will always be numeric, starting with one. Once this is all set, Hit apply and you will see green check marks down the right side that will confirm everything is properly set. Now, when you create a new part and save it to the cloud, you can test to see if the revision format is functioning how you would like or if you need to return to these settings to make further modifications.